You okay? I can't get over the fact I've been riding for two minutes and I found a friend. Oh, we good. Oh, we're good up here. Uh, well, well, that doesn't look like a comfy sleep, does it? Yeah, we don't care about getting dirty anymore. Oh, he did a jump! Oh, not bogs, not, oh, is this a bog? Lift! Good morning. You having a good day? How about now? I really annoyed myself by doing that. Oh well. So, I'm sorry if there's any wind noise because I'm in the middle of nowhere. But today we're going to do something that I've never done before. We're on the adventure bike. We're going to take it for its first time off-road. There is something quite annoying about it. I still have these really, really bad tires. So they're the standard 50-50 ones that you get from KTM. Don't know how good they're going to be. Probably not good at all. Like I said, sorry for the wind noise, but I'm going to head down this trail now that goes miles that way through the mountains. Um, should come to some tricky sections, river crossing, and hopefully we're going to end up at a beautiful lake. So uh, hop on board, join me on this journey, and hopefully I won't get a puncture. Let's go! Well, just so uh, you all know, this is my first time riding this off-road. It's absolutely freezing, by the way. I don't think I wrapped up enough, even though I put on like 20 layers. Still not warm. We're gonna head down this beautiful trail now. Hopefully no dramas, but with me, there's always some sort of drama. It's a big bike, so it's hard to get used to. So I've ridden quite a lot of road to get here, which is quite fun, to be fair. Very nice on the road. So this is the first off-road test. Uh, my first time riding an adventure bike off-road. So, um, oh, I, I'm quite nervous. There's gonna be some tricky bits. Like I've never ridden this bike on any rocks or anything. And I know there's kind of some rock slabs and stuff. So <laughs> I'm really, really, really praying that I do not drop this because I do not want to pick it up. All right, let's go then. I'm a bit worried about these tyres. Like obviously right now it's not crazy terrain, but we are gonna get to some tricky bits. There's a little river crossing, I think, uh, further on. And I don't know how these are gonna do on the wet rocks. And if I drop this in a river, quite far away from civilization, <laughs> we're gonna be in trouble. <laughs> if you could do me a massive favor, by the way, uh, leave a comment down below, any adventure bikers out there, and let me know what you kind of plan for a long trip in your backpack. Not like an overnight trip, but just what you plan. So I need to know like puncture repair kits, all that kind of stuff. Okay. We're officially off-road. <laughs> this is cool. I got on full kit this time. I got my motor boots on over the boot trousers because it's very, very cold. And you know, that is the adventure bike thing to do over the trouser boots. You know, I've done my research. The 890 is like a mid range adventure bike. Uh, it's apparently meant to be really good. So, this is my first adventure bike, obviously. Uh, Could have gone for 10 or 700 or something like that. But I plan on doing long trips on this across Europe and stuff, which is why I'm getting the practice in. Uh, I just thought the 890 might be a bit better on motorway roads and stuff. Oh, here we go. We got our first, first bit of rocks, boys. First bit of rocks. How are we going to do this? Do we go up on the left? Oh. Very impressed with this suspension. Maybe I'm gonna have to take this bad boy to K-Tech and get them to do this suspension. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Oh, she's gonna get dirty. Lift. Well, well that's stupid, isn't it? Oh, we'll just do that. 
it's a lot easier. Okay, there's lots of little niggly bits. Have an adventure bike, friend. Hi, mate. You okay? Where have you come from? Right, well, I'm, I met a new uh, adventure bike friend. He's on a Tenere 700, and uh, yeah, he's just been giving me tips about riding and treat it like an enduro bike and so on. So, yeah, so now I'm not so worried. I'm with someone. He's going to show me a little loop, uh, and then I'm going to leave him to it while I head up to the lake. That's quite cool. I got adventure bike friends. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, maybe I need an exhaust. Mine sucks. He just told me to like ride this like an enduro bike and kind of figure out the settings and if I get really stuck, turn traction control off. It's just really nice actually meeting someone that rides. But oh my god, I got friends. Oh, what a beautiful day. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I can't get over the fact I've been riding for two minutes and I found a friend. Ah. Oh. Ooh, how technical is this going to get? My brake seems to feel like it goes down to the floor at the moment. I need to adjust that. Aha! See, I'm not as nervous when I have a friend. So now we're like best mates. It's totally fine. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh, send in it. Oh, maybe not. Definitely need to adjust this brake. Go on, Sam. Yeah, mine does not sound like that. Do you know what, even on this bike, this adventure R. Even the back roads are fun. Yeah, that's right. What? Who said what? 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 Uh, well, well, that doesn't look like a comfy sleep, does it? So we should be looping around and coming down a. No, we're definitely not looping around. We're going this way, apparently. Okay, well, we're going this way now. Uh, but yeah, we should be coming down like a quite a rough off road lane. Uh, so that should test out my skill ability. I'm not sure if, if making it to this lake that I was on about is actually still a thing because I don't know. I'm just following this guy. I don't, I don't know where he's going. So stick around. Is this wheelie? Whoa, gee, that thing took my arms off. Wow. Okay, he's gone in the middle. Let's go in the middle then. Oh, we are off-roading, boys! Okay, he's gone. It's surprisingly nice off-road. Hard work in the sense of, you know, it's a lot more wait for your arms but all in all so far so good did i tell you the story about that time i was ridiculously excited no good because i'll tell you at the end because the story is happening right now we're like doing gate duties now so like i he opens the gate i close the gate you know like best friends do okay Okay, this is like, this is where it gets a bit sketch. 
Okay, he's going for it. He reckons these tyres can take a lot of abuse before it gets a puncture, so I'm taking his word for it. Do you know what though? He is right. This traction control does suck a little bit because it does cut out a bit. Might have to turn it off in a bit. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes, yes, you. Okay. Let's go in here. There we go. Oh, we're going up here. Okay. All right. I'm decent. <laughs> Let me just uh, close the gate for my friend. <laughs> It's a nice bike, that. I mean, it's no KTM, but... He said I can go left if I want, which means right is uh, treacherous. Now I'll go left. Oh, I slipped out. Oh, Jesus. Okay, get the hang of it. Very, very capable machine, I must say. I like it a lot. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh no. He's gone, he is quick. I don't think I've ever been quicker than anything I've ever ridden in my life. But I feel fast. That's what matters. Hi, mate. Well, that's a, an expensive lot of equipment, that is. Hi mate. A lot of people around. Look at that. Oh, not bogs, not, oh, is this a bog? Where's he going then? First bog. Yeah, I don't know, I just slowed down for that bog bit and it just cut off. I see what you mean about the traction control, it does cut out a lot. Good. So it's like if you're going up the slippery rocks, it goes do do do. Yeah. So it is quite annoying. Uh, we just stopped just to talk about how much I'm bloody loving it. So yeah, so for, like thought so far is I just need to adjust the foot brake. It's a bit too low for me. Uh, maybe turn the trash control off because that's annoying. Uh, other than that, this is going to be a fun bike to have on the channel for sure. An absolute mega fun machine. Right, well I just left my new friend. He's gone off to do some more trail riding. That was actually really, really fun. Meeting up with someone that knows about adventure bikes. So he taught me a lot of stuff about my bike and uh, going through suspension and oh it's just a lovely time oh it's very pokey do you know boys i can have a lot of fun on this thing i think like getting a little bit more confident Spinning out a bit, loving life. Yeah, we don't care about getting dirty anymore. Oh, he did a jump. Oh. Well, we all know I'm amazing. 
Well, that was a fun ride, wasn't it? I gotta say, the 890 is a super, super fun bike. A lot of people were saying negative things about the 890, which I was not happy about. Everyone's telling me to get a 10 ray, but the 890 is where it's at. Thank you very much. So yeah, I met an adventure bike friend. That was great. We rode around all the trails. He showed me some stuff and taught me a lot about the bike, which I really, really appreciated about tire pressures, all that kind of stuff. Found out that my tires are tubeless, I think, or there's no tubes in them, whatever you call it. It's all new to me, so you know. But basically the adventure bike scene is stupidly fun and I really, really enjoyed it. Like, look where we are. So yeah, if you like this kind of adventure bike stuff or if you have any ideas of anywhere you want me to film or any trails you want to see me go on, then please leave it in the comment section below. Any advice, tips, leave it in the comment section below. If you want to see more kind of this stuff, subscribe. If you like Enduro, subscribe. Like the video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, don't press dislike. Just, you know, watch something else and just leave me alone. But anyway, as always, thanks for watching. Ride safe and I will catch you on the next one. Peace.